For the last couple of weeks, I've been trying to find a solution in which to record footage off my PlayStation 3 to make some Let's Play videos. I had to do a lot of troubleshooting to fix the problem, and the internet was very helpful for most issues. Yeah? This is how you set up an Elgato HD60S capture card with a PlayStation 3. Bring your PlayStation 3 to your computer or vice versa. This one's a backwards compatible version. Next, you'll want an Ore HDMI splitter. This one specifically can block HDCP. You'll also need your capture card ready. This is an Elgato HD60S. Make sure you also have a USB-C cable. And finally, you'll need four HDMI cables total. If you haven't already, plug in your PlayStation 3 and connect it to the Ore HDMI splitter via an HDMI cable into input. Use the AC adapter provided with the HDMI splitter to plug it in. If you don't have one, all you'll need is a 5 volt AC adapter. This next step is optional, but highly recommended. Plug your HDMI splitter to your monitor or TV using another HDMI cable in output 1. This step is optional because you could potentially view your footage through the Elgato software via one HDMI cable to the capture card, but it would be quite small. Now we're going to bring the capture card into the picture. Plug in an HDMI cable into an output on the HDMI splitter to the input of the capture card. Next, we're going to connect the capture card to your computer. We'll start with the USB-C cable. Plug in the USB-C end to the capture card in the applicable port. Then connect the USB to a USB 3.0 port on your computer. 3.0 refers to the speed in which data travels, and 3.0 is necessary for the heavy lifting the capture card is doing. You will receive an error notification in the Elgato software if you are plugged into a USB 2.0 port. Your device should have a label on the ports identifying them as 2.0 to 3.0. If not, keep trying all ports. If you don't have any, you may need to get a converter, update your BIOS, or in some extreme cases, acquire a different device. Alright, let's finish this off. Lastly, plug in an HDMI cable from the output in your capture card to your computer. Make sure the HDMI port you choose is actually connected to your motherboard. Some devices have more slots for modification that don't actually connect to anything. You may be required to uninstall and reinstall the Elgato software if it was previously installed with issues. Once successfully installed and plugged in, you should see similar notifications to these, indicating the resolution and that HDCP is blocked.